Hello, welcome back. I am here in Palm Beach Gardens again, and I want to show you this beautiful home. It is a five to six bedroom, depending on how you have the designers structure it. They built in this community from start to finish, and it takes approximately 14 months for them to build a house like this for you. It is a five to six bedroom house. Okay, I know why you're here. You're here to see the house. So I'm not gonna hold you up talking anymore. Let's go outside. We're gonna start from the front of the house and we'll walk through. While we're walking through, I will be here talking to you. Let me know any questions, comments that you have throughout the tour. Monica model, it is a five bedroom six bathroom um, house and here are some of the details on it it's a three car garage i had one of um my buyers commented on my video on um youtube the other day asking for a three bedroom option three car garage option and this is one of the three car garage options that i had in mind while speaking to you let's walk in We walk right here into the entry. The three-car garage access is here. It is locked, so I can't show you, but usually it is concrete flooring. Here we walk into the formal living room right here at the front of the house. And we have a little bar area over here. This is not the kitchen, just a bar area to entertain your guests. Um, and we also have a bedroom downstairs, which is important um, for if you have a guest or a family member that prefers not to climb the stairs. Bathroom down here has a shower. Um, so that's a good thing. All right, so we're passing the staircase to go up and right next to the staircase, they have a wine cellar staircase and this is your family room now this is where everyone's gonna be hanging out and right across from your kitchen and dining area all right let me know what you think I like um, this mixture mixture that they have here off the light countertop on the um, island um, mixed with the dark countertops um, and they also have it mismatched where the this is dark and the cabinets are light. Let's get a little mix, mostly white cabinets, which is what uh, a lot of people are demanding right now. And these are the nice, classic, shiny, easier to clean um, cabinets that they have. Um, on this side is what we would use as the pantry. Um, they have these cabinets here uh it's a lot to open but let me just back up and give you an idea that it makes for a really nice pantry where you could stock out all your foods going all the way up as needed so there should be ample space for storage okay they're soft clothes so you shouldn't hear them <laughs> closing in even though i did that really fast there and I think they're working on the pool outside, maybe cleaning it. All right, in the meantime, we're gonna go upstairs before we go outside, so it shouldn't matter. So we're here at the very top of the stair. They have right here a loft, den area, you know, another living room for maybe the family or a hangout space. Um, pretty cool decor here uh, with a TV. So it's just a really pass through uh, space. They also have the laundry room right up over um, next to the staircase. And let's look at all the rooms here. They have three bedrooms up here. This is the master that we're entering or the main suite. And this would be your bathroom. So inside the bathroom, they have some storage on this side a single sink, water closet, and a closet here 
that's customized and a huge shower. And then you have the bedroom, then you have another closet and bathroom storage here. The bigger, I think this closet is bigger, probably it's the same size, but it's also customized. And then this bathroom is definitely bigger. It, because there's two bathrooms in this main suite, they only have one sink because of course it's a double sink situation because you're not, you know, sharing your bathroom, his and hers. So I'm not sure who's gonna win the bathroom with the standalone tub, but we'll see. <laughs> I will call dibs on this one. This is the one I would want. Okay, so after looking at that, um, let me show you from this angle what the main suite looks like. Um, this is a king size bed and they have oversized um, storage night tables on the sides and there's still a lot of space to put a uh, chair and look at that view over the lake. Oh, I love water views. Some people don't like water, but let's step out here. Watch me struggle with the door to get out. And this is your private balcony off from your main suite. Um, you get to look out at the pool, what's happening down there, and also on the lake. It's a little windy, so I'm gonna stay inside. Uh, Put that back. Okay, so let's look at the other bedrooms. If you have questions about this main suite, let me know. Let me know. I mean, how much more perfect that you can get it than having two separate bathrooms? I wish I had that at home. <laughs> um, okay, so this is one of the bedrooms they have here. It is decorated as a gym slash hangout area slash office. Okay, I don't know what they were thinking, but here we go. And this is the closet that, the walk-in closet that they have inside this bedroom. Across from it is a bathroom, standard bathroom. And then another bedroom with a closet, its own closet and bathroom. So they have this decorated as a kid's room. My kids would love this. They're into, into Super Mario right now. And this has a lot of Mario and Luigi happening here. Um, I don't know any of the other characters, but I still try to watch it with them sometimes. <laughs> Okay, so that's the bathroom and it also has its own walk-in closet. Okay. All right, while well, we walk to the other um, bedroom, what do you think so far, right? No. Very graphic movie going on. So this other bedroom is more um, decorated to be pink, you know, maybe for a teenage girl or younger and it has its own bathroom and it has its own closet, uh, walk-in closet. There go. And on this side is the bedroom, uh, light pink with um, heels. And this bedroom is looking out over to the front of the house. So that's that. Um, let's head back downstairs and we'll talk a little bit. Okay, so what do you think what do you think so far about this house? I have the prize, square footage, all the details showing here on the house. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if it's something that could work for you or if it's too big. Actually. I forgot to show you outside. Let's go outside. Let's go outside. I forgot guys, you know. I'm not superhuman, even though I pretend to be. 
Outside we have an outdoor kitchen on this side with the grill, the sink, and the refrigerator, the whole works. The whole works to entertain. And then this is your pool and your hot tub over on this side of the pool. It's a really lovely day, isn't it, right? Not a good hair day for me. Um, yesterday I thought it was actually gonna rain because it was so windy and a little cloudy, um, but still no rain and it's the same, very windy. Um, Florida needs to cool down sometimes, so I'm not complaining. This is not a complaint. Um, I'm hoping the stats on the house is still up, just so you can fully see what is available. And um, if you have any questions, definitely let me know, let me know. I'm here to help you. Different kinds of financing options available, guys, to you that find it difficult in these interest, interest rates. Um, let me know if the interest rate is the issue or how we could help to make these dreams happen. If you have to sell a house in Florida or in another state in order to purchase, let me know. Um, I could help you. I could help you out of state with getting one of my partner agents to help you with selling and, you know, making the process of buying this even easier. So, um, I actually have an important, I don't know why I'm so busy. My schedules, I probably booked them a little bit too tight, but I have an appointment starting in 10 minutes. Um, but the good thing is that it's Zoom, you know? So I have a Zoom meeting starting with a new buyer that's interested in moving to Florida. And so, questions, let me know. Let me know, guys, what are your questions about Florida real estate? A lot of people are saying it's going to crash. I don't see it. We got too much demand and too little inventory for it to crash. So. Let me know what you think. Um, and let me know if you like that I became a redhead, you know? I hear people like redheads, so trying a new thing. <laughs> okay, guys, comment below. Let me know the inventory and the prices on the Southeast Coast, which where I'm mainly located is very stable and slowly increasing still. So yes, the market is unfortunately not gonna crash. I cover 50-50 buyers and sellers. And so my best interest is for buyers as well as sellers. And I'm sorry to tell you that sellers, um, it's a good thing that your properties are gonna be maintaining these prices. You're not gonna be at a loss even if you recently purchased. And buyers, get in right now. Don't wait until the interest rate changes and it's a chaos situation like we've experienced for the last three years where everyone's overbidding. Don't get into those fights. Let's try to get you in now, okay? Let's see how we can make it work for you now, right? Um, it's always better to buy than to rent. This is why when you are purchasing a home, you get to lock in that rate, that monthly payment, your mortgage rate for 30 years. It's not gonna change. Might be slight changes in your insurance and in your taxes, but otherwise you've locked that in for 30 years. When you are renting, five years, 10 years down the line, it's not gonna be the same. It's gonna be in the actual owner's best interest what's happening to your rent. You're gonna be in no control of it, okay? So let's talk about it. Um, from the perspective of what's best for you. This might, uh, that scenario that I just painted might not be best for everyone, but let's talk about what's best for you. All right, stay tuned, make sure you're subscribing and stay safe. And if you are a realtor needing help in this um, time that, you know, shifts in market, you need to gain knowledge and understanding and grow your business, also reach out to me, okay? Stay safe. Mm-hmm.
So this is love